Hello and welcome. We're live again. Before we do a little catty chat live, um, see who's about, see what's happening. News online, where you from? It's Saturday night here where I am about, I don't know, it's about 8 o'clock now. Everybody's on lockdown across the place, aren't they? So um, I thought I'd get on and do a chat. Just me in the office. Me lurch a bitch there. What you doing, girl? Don't know why, but she manages to curl up on that little um, office chair. There's a big mat down here and a dog bed over there and everything. Yeah, she gets on a little office chair, which is about that wide. <laughs> so bless her. Um, right, let's see who we got on here. Let's see who we got on here tonight. Parker Lewis, how are you doing, buddy? Freddie Stanley, do you sell moulds? I take it you mean ammo moulds for um, lead shot? I don't, buddy, but there's loads on eBay. There's... The, the options for moulds, uh, it depends how far you want to go. Some do one at a time, some do ten at a time. Some you need to trim the spurs off, some do them better um, than others. There's there's so many different moulds out there on eBay, but it's not something I do. Parker Lewis, top of the morning. Darcy Salmons, how you doing? Fur, feather and fin with Mikey Cookson. Yeah, Webby, how's it hanging? He's hanging good, straight for once. <laughs> Carpy Chris, how you do, John, mate? I'm good. Wild Bill C, how you doing, John, mate? I'm good. Reece Stevenson, how did you do on the lane? Um, I never even had a shot on the lane, to be fair. I just had a bike ride round. Is that what you mean after the live chat the other day? Uh, I did actually see a couple of pigeons, but um, it was windy. The trees was bending, and when I looked up, they must have been 30, 40 metre up, and you could just see the silhouette at the top of them blowing. Um, at most, I'd have tickled their ass feather with a little steel ball, if you know what I mean. It wasn't worth shooting at. Not that that couldn't be took from that range, but unless I'm confident I'm going to um, whop it in the side of the head and drop it clean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just shoot randomly at 140 foot up for no reason, if you know what I mean. Let's put it, let's, well, to put it like this, there wasn't nothing worth shooting at, which I thought I could kill anyway. Elias Boswell, any new episodes coming anytime soon? Uh, we're always doing little vids and everything, but... Um, the editing and all that takes time. We've got a giveaway come. We've got some other stuff doing the new website launch, which is going to be on video and other stuff. Uh, it's a funny time of the year, though, isn't it? We can't do a lot. And what doesn't help, I've been absolutely snowed under with orders. I mean, like, anybody who follows my Facebook page or anything will know we're um, up to our eyes, isn't it, Red? I need to um, reassess how I run things because it's going to the point where me and somebody helping me and the missus leaving her job and working full time, we're. Uh, flat on our heels to be fair like constant which is good i'm not saying it's a bad thing but you know we need a way to uh speed things up and get things out even quicker and more of them <laughs> catty lad hi john how's it going buddy it's good carpy chris how do everybody hope you're all right or all, all white all right any questions um get it up um see what we can do if i don't know it i'm sure somebody on this catapult community will know it I don't know everything, I don't claim to know everything, but I know a fair bit about catapults, but nobody knows everything. Nobody knows everything. Freddie Greenway, keep up the good work, John. Amazing. Thank you, Freddie. Archie Styles, hello, sir. Freddie Stanley, cheers, buddy. Joa Squawk, Boatard, I don't know what that means, but Boatard back. I hope it don't mean nothing bad. <laughs> Robert Seppleton, love your channel and mentoring. Thank you very much. Yes, Mikey. Kelly Doe, hi. Hello, Kelly. Adam VVS. It's great to see you back with a large amount of live videos. I've, I've started getting onto the live videos um, because, like, I think they're, easy, they're easier for me because I, I, I can film a video and then put it straight on. There's no editing. There's no having to go out and do... All, all this, that, the other. So it's straight on. And plus, we answer a lot of questions. We get a lot of questions done, which is good. Um, and with these dark nights now and lockdown and me being busy and, you know, just, there's no time to be out filming all the time. Freddie Stanley, do you sell Stanley frames? I don't, sorry, buddy. Roll the clock back about seven, eight, well, not even seven, eight years, probably 10 or 11 years. I used to do a lot of work with the Stanley cores and that, but I ain't done nothing like that for ages. JAS says, what do you think of the Pedhead Slings? Uh, they're predominantly a Chinese shooter, them. Um, not 100% my cup of tea, to be honest. Um, I prefer a flat tip or something. What's up, girl? Look, all the office, look. 
She's got a big dog. <laughs> the chair spins around. Right. Do you want me to hold it? Go on, go, go. She's got all the office, she's got a big bed in the hall with a big padded memory foam and she chooses the office chair that spins, she always gets on there so yeah. Anyway back to the peghead sling, sorry, um, yeah they're, they're okay, the Chinese use them and shoot them amazingly well, um, it's just not for me to be honest, I just can't seem to get on with them. You alright girl? Um, that's it, she's on the floor now, she's down, she's chilled, that's it, we can carry on with the video. Parker Lewis, I'm going rabbit hunting with my slingshot after this. Fair play, buddy. Good luck. I was going to have a little go round tonight, but um, done some done a few bits in the workshop this morning. Uh, went out on a bike ride with me two daughters, and we covered probably six, seven, eight mile. And I'm my legs are goose to be fair, so I'm not doing anything tonight because I've been out all afternoon. Bob Dobelina, evening dude, hope you're having a good weekend, thank you very much, it's as good as it can be, I hope you're having a good one too, Sean Monk, I just received my PPOG plus, love it, cheers, RSTURB0185, are you still on the white stuff, I don't know what you, what you mean by that, <laughs> you mean the white bands or something, <laughs> bloody hell. PewDiePie Dimes, what do you think is the best band set? Whatever works best for you, that's the answer to that one. Cody Gore, good to see you back. Reece Stevenson hangs it tight to deliver your multiplex frames on eBay. All of our frames are shipped within five working days. Uh, that's at the busiest. Normally, we hope to make within two or three days, but everything is made to order, and we're pretty busy at the moment. But you're looking at five working days, tops dispatch. Uh, and then on top of that, you're probably looking at two or three or four days um, time in the hands of the post office. Tommy YZ250, got that new Keyring Catty of a week. Thumbs up, thank you. Northern Michigan Outdoor Adventures, good day, John. Love the fish picks, man. Thank you very much. Leo Manterfield, will you make knives? Uh, no, the simple answer to that is. I've made a few in the past, but... Um, it's you know there's a lot of le legalities legalities with uh, with knives obviously with catapults they're not restricted yet I say yet because I do think there'll be a law and restriction on them soon like you need license to sell them maybe own them or certain arguments but for now catapults can be shipped to anybody uh, whereas knives you know you can't sell knives on eBay. You know, you can't sell knives in the shop to under 18s where you can sell catapults in the shop, you can sell catapults on eBay and all that. So the knives are not for me. Big Bazaar 30, evening John, hope you're good. I'm very good. Tommy, why is that 250? Could you make a key in PPMG? I'd pay good money for it. Uh, Tommy, yeah, I could, I could make one, but the reason we don't is because the PPMG is a palm swell, it's all shaping, and if I was to make key rings exactly the same as the PPMG, there wouldn't be no 10 or 15 pound key rings, there'd be two or three times as much, and it, it's expensive for a key ring, so I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't make them, if you know what I mean. I'm just reading for your comments. Have you got any of any bands back in stock on eBay? Have we got Ferroband on there? The GZK, the GZK order should be with us. <sighs> Hopefully tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow because it's Sunday. Hopefully Monday, and that's going to be supplied on all our catapults very soon as well. Leo Manfield shot five rabbits today that were all diseased. Take it they had mixing. Best place for them. You no, know, put them out of the misery. Stop them suffering. Hi John, Richard Lindsay says, Hi John, just brought a PPMG Plus TTF and found I can only shoot left-handed while I shoot OTT right-handed. Is this unusual? PPMG Plus is a wonderful work of art. Uh, that's, I think that's something you got going on your end, buddy, because the PPMG and the PPMG Plus, they're um, you know, perfectly symmetrical and ambidextrous catapult. So they can be shot in either hand. The old will be exactly the same. So the only thing that could be wrong, because the catapult is perfectly even, the only thing that could be wrong, wrong is something what you're doing with your other hand. 
um, because they're made to shoot both hands exactly the same. So I'm guessing that's something that's um, that's something your end. PewDiePie Dame says, are you on Facebook? Check out Gamekeeper John. We're on the Facebook page. Yes, Jance Thompson, yes. Can't beat a bit of Gamekeeper John live chat on the bank. I didn't know you was on the bank tonight, Jance. I was just talking to you on my um, Facebook Messenger just before I went live. I didn't know you was actually there tonight. The weather's not too bad now, is it? It's, it's dropping a bit cold, but it's not like it's... It's not cold, cold yet, is it, if you know what I mean? Well, not by me, anyway. I'm not sure where you are, but... Um, yeah, the weather's not too bad, is it? It's, it's, it's all right. I don't know what west... If you've got the south westlies in or the low pressure or whatever, but it ain't too bad. Patrick797 is mooching. What colour GZ cage do you think is best for a 25 to 20 taper? Wild BC. I'm currently shooting 0.66 on the 2520 taper, and uh, it's the green I use. I much prefer the green. Can't get on with the black for some reason. I don't know why. I just can't can't get on with it. Can't take to the black. It just it seems to react different. <laughs> All right then. Joe D, what single tubes do you recommend for 8mm steel? Don't shoot tubes, buddy, so I really, really can't help you there. Jason Parsons, evening, mate. Trul Pajiev, please come to Azerbaijan. We will go hunting together. What type of um, things you want in Azerba Az Azerbaijan? Or whatever, it yeah, that's it, Azerbaijan. I know you can hunt all sorts over there, can't you? Um... Where about in the world are you from? See how many countries we can get tuned in this time. Last time we had, I think it was 22 countries within an hour set. 22 different countries. And that's just what um, what, I, what I was told was on here. Um, so, yeah. So what's, what's everybody doing in lockdown? What's the plan? We've got plenty of viewers on here now. The thumbs up are coming. So, any questions? Is there any questions? I don't think I'm going to be going out myself tonight. I'll... Like I said, I've been on a bike ride today and uh, done a lot of lot of graft before. I even finished decorating the hallway. Um, a few more bits of wallpaper up and finished that off today. So I'm a little bit... I don't know. Talking about catapults, um, makes me want to get back out, though. I'll tell you what I have seen uh, by my house, and if anybody knows where I live, you get to the top of my road, there's a main 60 road, and there's roadworks there, and um, we had to slow down to about... No, I think it's 20, 15 or 20 mile an hour going down the main road and there's two or two or three ash bushes in a row with perfect cup forks and uh, I've seen them, I've always missed them going full speed, you know, never noticed them. When we go slow I haven't seen them and there must be, on each tree there's got to be five or six cup forks that come out like that and there's three or four bushes and they're all low spread out bushes so they're all reachable. So uh, I could be there in five minutes on my push bike so I might... Big might pop down there in a bit with the snips and saw and take them all <laughs> before the workers cut them. Um, so yeah, any questions? Right, where's people coming from? Catty Lad from Scotland, Ree Stevenson from Derbyshire, Kevla Slingshot from Finland, Christian Evans, who's a better shot with a catapult, you or your old man? Well, I've won more trophies than him, so I'm claiming that one, Dad. <laughs> Lorenzo Laperna, hello from Italy. Catty lad, how many dogs do you have? Just two, mate. I've got, I've got my lap dog here, my pet, my old girl. She's done a little bit. She had no work, I'll be totally honest with you. She knows what she's doing. She's had a few rabbits and been ferreting and that. And when I take her out, she'll catch one if it's there. But I don't do hardly anything with her. And my other one's uh, Jack Chua across, which is another little lap dog, little mouthy thing. But uh, he's a lovely little dude. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, questions. We need some questions. Every other live chat, we've been overrun with them now. They're not. They're not on this one. I have. I don't know if we've got the notifications on. Uh, we've got plenty of. Well, we've got a few questions here. S S S Space E says, "Yo, John, love your catapults on my third one. No, brought a joker the other day off you. Just wondering if it comes with double bands. The joker comes fitted with single bands as standard. However, if you message us on order and request." We will fit any bands that you want on free of charge, no extra cost, whether that be singles, doubles, GZK, or whatever. You tell us, we'll fit it on um, and put it on. 
Elias Boswell, what do you think of the Raptor? Have you shot one? Yes, I have. The Raptor's a great design. I actually um, shot Asa Wilson's personal one at all. What shoot was we at? Was it one of the shoots anyway? And um, he uh, he actually gave it to me. He was trying to have a shot of this, and I picked his catapult up and had a few shots. Um, oh, everybody knows I, I don't really shoot over the top, so I can't really say, oh, it's it's me, it's everything. It's a great design. It shoots brilliant. It's just I'm a TTF kind of guy, so... I probably wouldn't shoot one, but he does do a TTF one, I think, doesn't he? Um, somewhere along the line, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does wrap the TTF. But yeah, I shot Ace's personal one at one of the shoots a couple of years ago. Dennis Hills, hello, John. When is the PPMG Plus clipped being released? Please, it's there's a, there's a bit of work going on with the clips and the tips and stuff, because you, you, you'll get it, please. Stop asking about that, because I want to tell you everything and show you stuff when I've got here, but I can't. I can't. I've got some stuff here as well. Um, some pro, some three D prints. We've added a PPMG for some plastic molding. Don't know where they are. We've got them in one of the drawers. I ain't gonna go and get it now. Got some three uh, D prints of it out, which are looking good. It's took like eighteen months in the making. Nothing. He'll get that. Joe D. What type of eight mil steel and GZK green? Joe D says. Chris Graffin uses um, that. I'm sure he, um, correct me if I'm wrong, and I've spoke to Chris many a times about uh, the best set of G's at K Green and 8mm Steel. I think he's shooting something like an 18 to 12 or 18 to 14, something along them lines. And uh, he's killing a lot, a lot. And <laughs> I mean, a lot up to 20, 30 meters. He's killing a lot. Light bands, light ammo, whack gun, good night. And he's killing a lot, he is. Um, He's probably one of the most, well, he, I don't think he hunts that often, but when he's out, he always, always does well. Fucked up, mate. Jimmy Staples says, Hi, John, do you band the catapults up the logo side or the other side? Um... It depends what catapult and who you're buying it off. Some people put logos on the front, the back. I sign mine in the cup of the fork, so I can't really answer that till I know about the one. Parkham Lewis says, I love your mug. Cheers, buddy. Adam VVS says, how about a live shooting training video where you can take time to answer questions and we get the joy of some slingshot shooting? That's a really good idea, you know, Adam. Might even make a note of that. Yeah, I'm just thinking what, what I'm just processing what you've said then and trying to work it out. Live shooting. You now when people Yeah, I'm gonna make a little note of that one. Adam VVS, I'm gonna make a note of that. I'm gonna get it on my in my book now. Sort of a live tutorial. And then if people um excuse me, struggling on certain factors or parts. I could uh, go through it in the live video. Yeah, I'm going to make a note of that. That's really not a bad idea. Um, it'll be hard to follow the screen because I have to keep up with the screen like this. Now, looking at a target, concentrated shooting and giving advice will be a bit hard. Maybe I need somebody on the phone reading the questions out as I'm doing it. Um, yeah, don't write that off. That, that is actually a good idea. I might, if I, if I decide I'm doing it, it will obviously be daytime, it'll be through one of the days because it's dark at half past four here now. And I'll probably need somebody on the other side of the camera spalling the questions off to me. But we could cover a lot of stuff in a, you know, a live hour set on catapult shoot intuition and everybody put the questions in. I like that. Anybody else interested in that? Obviously I'd announce it a few days before and give everybody a chance to get prepared and watch it, but... Um, I'm liking that, yeah. Right, we'll move on to the next one, but I'm liking that a lot. Quick comment of the day I'll give you for that, Adam VVS. Shooter Roberts is shooting up harder than shooting straight, but like it's in ferals out the sheds. Shooting up is no harder. It's it's no harder, it's all the same. The only thing is 98% of everybody shooting is level at targets and level. And when they shoot up, it's different. If you switched it round and everybody shot up all the time... And then shot straight, shooting straight would seem different. So it's uh, it's what you're used to. There is different reference points, but when you when you when you look up, but sometimes your head can come back. And what happens if you keep this hand still and your head goes back to look up? 
your anchor point moves. Everybody knows when your anchor point moves, your shots are out. So there is a bit of sway in it. But if you, if you shot up enough, you you will you, you you will get used to it. But yeah, we had no comments just now. We got them flying in. Scottish Titan, evening, John lad. How you doing, buddy? E1 cart fishing, best place to buy 8mm steel. Um, Bulls of steel, Sussex.com. Go to Reese. He, um, he, uh, uh, you can't get no cheaper. PewDiePie Dome says, Who wins you or Chris from Catapult Carnage? <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't like to shoot against Chris because he's good. And I'm sure Chris wouldn't want to shoot against me. We've both split the honours over the years. Um, and we've both won. A lot of the field events, we've both won all the 10 metres, the 20 metres. Last year when we had 11 countries shooting, all the top shooters from all over the world, Chris won the 10 metre, I won the 20 metre. I also come second in the 10 metre behind Chris, so us two are up there. Uh, I think the question is, who is better than me or Chris? I don't think there's many, if any. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Scottish Titan says, I'd watch that. Parker Lewis, I'd love that video. I guess you're referring to the... Um, the live tuition one i've got a big catch box in the garden well it's only oh sugar nearly ended the video then i do this every time it's these fat sausage fingers in it try and scroll up the fingers i oh, know i say every video when you're scrolling up for the comments if you don't keep the comments actively moving every five seconds they fade off the screen and right below you've got an ammo, uh, arrow sorry an edit point and you can lose stuff but yeah um yeah that's good that sounds good the um the live tuition or whatever yeah we'll put a can up some paper and um do some live shooting yeah definitely everybody's saying no great idea brilliant idea awesome i'd watch that yes the live tutorial sounds fun as yeah paul mountford evening john lad when are we having some more mooching videos um well paul i, I, I do a, i do a lot of mooching and that but when i work with catapults all day and then did live streams and then I'm constantly active on my YouTube, putting posts up, uh, pictures up, YouTube stories up on my Facebook page, giveaways, pictures, advertising. When I finally do get to go out for a mooch, I don't really want to have to stop and record everything, then come back and edit it. My little mooches are like sort of my time away from catapults, if that makes sense, uh, especially when I haven't been allowed to go fishing for a few weeks. So it's not that I don't go mooching, I do. And it's not that I'm not taking game. I am. I just don't post a lot of game pictures now either. Like, you know, the world we live in is 2020. You can offend somebody by posting a picture of a potato, can't you? The, this day and age you're in, it's complete balls, isn't it, really? But, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the only reason I am doing it. All right, Catty Lad says, What do you think the government would do with catapults? Ban them, license them, or restrict power and stuff like that? I think they will license them. They definitely won't ban them because they don't. They haven't banned guns. They haven't banned sledgehammers, kitchen knives, swords, bow and arrows. Nothing's really banned. Guns are banned. That's it. Really. Well, they're not really banned, are they? Because obviously, I've contradicted myself there. Certain guns are banned. You know, the proper little little pistols. But you can buy rifles, bow and arrows, and everything else. So I think I think they'd be licensed. Or, I don't think you could restrict them on power, because how would you restrict power on a catapult? So I could give somebody a band set, which where, where a weak sort of guy without many muscles, or a, a female, I'm not saying females are not strong, I'm, please don't think I'm being sexist, but you know what I mean, or juveniles or whatever, and they won't get no power. Now you give it somebody who's got arms out here like Popeye, and he's pulling them back, he's going to be producing 15, 20 foot pound, where the legal limit for a rifle is 12 foot pound. So restricting the power, um, I think that's impossible. I think that's impossible. Licensing them, licensing them, or restricting them to be sold by people with a license to provide them to over 18s, and maybe then they can only be shot in private property and stuff like that. Well, I think something will happen, but um, there won't be an outright ban. I'm pretty sure there won't be an outright ban. That's pretty much impossible in my opinion. Michael ZZZ said, what's the best bands to use? Mine keep breaking the same day and a good day of shoes. First of all, Michael, how, um, how many um, shots are you having? Most flat band band sets, modern day bands, 
only lasts from something like two to three hundred shots up to about five to six hundred shots, seven hundred shots on a good day. So if you're on the catch box all day and blasting hundreds of shots, it will happen. Um, a little um, when I when I used to practice, go back to you know 2014, 15 when I was practicing every single day before shoots. I was shooting six, seven, eight hundred shots a day. Some days I was spending an hour or two on the catch box, and each session I was getting through two band sets. Uh, sometimes free because I was shooting that much, so that, that flat bands don't last forever. It doesn't matter who you get them off. It doesn't matter if Jesus makes them, <laughs> God makes them, or the Queen makes them. They don't last forever. That's the thing with with flat bands. Um, and if if you're getting breaks really quick and you're using the same frame, then maybe. You could have a rough part on your catapult on the forks it where the bands are catching and the splitting if you look on my youtube channel this one i'm posting off i have a top 10 tips it's a separate video on its own and it's called um, top 10 tips for band life we've got my top 10 to my top 10 tips for uh, making your bands last and we cover everything if you watch that video um i can guarantee and that goes to anybody on here now if you follow those 10 tips, your bands will last longer, period, because that covers everything. It's called um, Top 10 Band Life Tips. Right then. Right. Parker Lewis, you're a great shooter. Thank you. Reece Stevenson says, can you kill a pigeon with 8mm steel, 20 to 10mm taper band? Yes, easy. Pigeons have only got little tiny um, tiny fin skulls. You, skulls. you could probably kill a pigeon with nicker elastic or elastic bands if you hit it in the head. Pigeons drop easy with an headshot. Bob Dubbelina says, brilliant idea. Can you can you then do a building live with, here's one I've done later, please. That could be done as well. Mark Finch says, John, will you ever be going to any more comps, ESF, etc., or are you finished with it all now, mate? I'll never say I'm finished with it all, but I I have, don't plan on going to any. It's not, I'd never say it never, because I probably will, but um, just, I don't know. I feel like I've got to go my own way around things now and do my own thing instead of... The, the thing is, what, what a lot of people... I don't know, when I used to get to the shoots regular, like go back to the period 2014 to 2018, that four years there of catapult shooting, you will never get back. You will never see shoots like that. You will never see the atmosphere. and You will never get that. You will. Everybody says the good old days. You talk to people on the groups, the good old days. It's true, you will never get it. And then I was going to two shoots in spring, two shoots in summer... I was going to Midlands Game Fair. I was going to Chatsworth Game Fair. Art Artfield House, is it, or that one. And then we was going back to the uh, team events in the the UK CA and that at the end. That's like five, that's eight shoots a year. You know, there's only 12 months in the year, so pretty much every month and a bit, I was going to a shoot and spending a weekend there. And that was like, it was just constantly away, constantly. Like, every month there'll be a different one. We was there all weekend, we was there. And anybody who knows me knows that I don't just go to the shoot. I go on the Thursday or Friday. I stay till the Sunday, Monday. And that, that's how we've done it. And um, I don't want to sound like a, like a knob when I say it, but there's n I've, I've won pretty much everything there is. And I'm not, I don't, I know when I say that, it might sound like, oh, he's, he, he, he's bigging himself up. It's not. He's just been there, done it. Like I say, about four or five 10 metre events won. I think it's four 20 meter events and like four or five field events i've won speed shooting i've won long distance shooting i've won natural comps i've won the polo shot um pretty much everything i've won the heavy metal i've won the comp where you've got to use a natural one i've won the jumbo challenge two or three times in a row i've won chatsworth comp midlands game fail you know and i don't want to say it like being an idiot but there ain't nothing for me now I've not just won things, I've won them numerous times and, you know, and that's where I'm at. It's not that I don't like them or want to go back, I've just been there, done it, and it's... I'll go back a few years, I had the buzz where, like, oh, I want to win that, I want to win that, I need that, I need that title, I need that title, and I'll practice like a mother and go and do it. I've got I've not got that buzz now. If I go, I'll turn up to have a drink and get 
get off cut with the lads that's the only reason i'll go now the shooting things don't don't bother me no more plus there's too much young blood coming through which are uh 10 times better than i'll ever be and i'll just nail me and make me look crap <laughs> yeah never say never though right vehicle vendor john what active length usually used uh fair and will shoot about 14 centimeter active gzk around 16 depending on the cuts i could move it each way and obviously in winter and uh, summer it can vary a bit in the summer months i'll allow myself a little bit more slack in the winter months i'll tighten it up so i'm almost you know at full full draw what i like to do when i'm shooting a band um, is adjust it so i'm getting the same fps which is feet per second through summer winter spring so if i'm shooting in 50 degrees heat or minus 10 degrees winter i like that ball at the same speed so like a lot of people have to judge for the weather or it's colder the ball's gonna drop they're going it's like i don't want that i want my ball always at the same speed so my aim in reference and anchor and how i shoot is the same all year round so i adjust my bands to suit the speed that I want my balls travelling, if you understand what I mean, instead of having to allow extra drop off or lift for hot weather and cold weather, just find that works better for me. I mean, if anybody understands what I'm on about, if you don't, let me know. <laughs> right, so many comments. Get a beer up, ye. Peter Michael says, you know what? I had last last Friday. I had a couple. Uh, and that's it. I think I had two or three bottles on Thursday night. I've had one since. Not for any reason, just trying to be half good and it been out on my bike covering the miles. The thing is, I don't drink that often. When I when I like to have a beer on these live streams, I do. <laughs> it's like I like to have a beer and a chat with the lads. I've got a cup of tea, which is cold. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've got a lot to do. I'm off fishing for the day Monday as well. Uh, I was at it most of the day until I went on the bike ride. And I've got a lot of stuff to get, a lot of banners to get done, a lot of catapults to get banded tomorrow. And even when I go fishing on Monday, I've got to take some catapults with me to sand. Um, so my day off ain't really a day off, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Gwyn Grinian says, what difference do anti-cold bands make and what temperature should you start using them? Well, this is a bit of a sticky subject because the anti-cold um, thing has been brought up on several groups and nobody knows what the anti-cold formula is and nobody really knows what it does or what difference but a lot of people say there is a difference and it's been put for the crony and it does go faster so the anti-cold definitely works but nobody knows how um and as as when to start using anti-cold well if the anti-cold's anti-cold use it in the cold simple but if the anti-cold works faster than other bands, why aren't people using the anti-cold in the summer? Because if it's faster, then you've got your summer band. Maybe instead of anti-cold, that might be, might be super summer and you might get a super fast band. Do you know what I mean? You get, a, you get a lot of names with bands and that. I think a lot of it's up here and a lot of it's how well people name a product and how well they market it, if you know what I mean. Because... The fact of the matter is, pretty much any elastic out there will kill if you're accurate enough and hit it in the head. So, yeah. Simon786. I see you like your tattoos, John. Wash your tattoos. Well, I'm a catapulting guy, so we've got our catapulting ones. First of all, that one. English born and born, Webby, and me date of birth. This one, which is a catapult one, which everybody says it looks like me. You see him? Bulldog, <laughs> shooting his natural, daughter's names, then the two forearms, that one, Kizzy, Lexi, and this one is probably one of my favourite ones, after the daughters, only if I can uh, get this in here, there's a guy there, he's got his hoodie up, he's got his poaching bag, his jack pike bag, and he's shooting the cat pulls, and in the tree, it's pheasants roosting in the tree. So there's the tree. I don't know if you can see that for you. There's his catapult. It's a bit awkward for me to hold it on camera and I'm losing the light. He's a poacher shooting the pheasants from out the tree. It's a bit awkward to show you. That's better. You can see the light there. 
it's a, it's, a, it's a script all the way around a country one. It's a poacher shooting pheasants. Not that I um, not that I think that's right, but you asked what it was, and there you go. <laughs> right, 35 minutes live. Oh, back eight from in this chair. We're going to uh, probably go for another half hour. Well, not another half hour, another 10 or 15 minutes. All right, just looking back for the comments because I've been messing with my um, arm, showing you that. I've lost the comments again, so I've got to work out where I are. So stay with me, brothers. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I can see some comments just picking the right one. Elfie Gaskin, you've been doing much hunting lately, John? Not a lot, to be fair. I wouldn't say hunting. I've been dropping a few bits here and there on the mooch. I wouldn't exactly say I've been out full time hunting, but I've been doing a, doing a little bit. You know what I mean? Just a bit. Shooter Roberts, how you doing, buddy? Nice shot on that um, nine point five. Was it nine point five steel off the post? Seen that earlier. Good shot. Love the big game ferreting video, and I think it's smart how you've got your kids involved in the videos. Smart. Watched all the videos now. Laugh out loud. But you can't wait for your lad to be older. You know, I really can't. I really cannot wait for him to start coming out. He started picking a catapult up and trying to shoot. And I just, like, I just know next year he's going to be shooting. He's going to be shooting his little plastic or clay balls with his safety goggles on. He's going to be shooting. Both my girls have done it. Any Anybody who follows me will know. My girls have actually won, well, my oldest girl who's 10 now. Um, she actually won a junior title when she was six. Um up uh, by me against about 150 different juniors some of the junior boys was 10 and 11 years old at the time she won it when she was six she might have been seven she like smashed them up in the final you look on my youtube video you'll see her cutting cars and it in swinging coins my youngest daughter as well is now on the ball like shooting like aiming and i wouldn't say that they're mad for it because they only shoot like when we're out on the walk i'll have a few shots here and there that it's not like they're practicing or anything but they they do know what they're doing. So when when my boy comes, that's if he if he wants to shoot. Obviously, I'll never force it up on him. But um, he already likes the country stuff and being out and doing stuff. And yeah, so I think he will. Uh, I think he will. Gwyn Grimson, shooter Roberts. Why did they remove latex out the bands? Did Ferraban used to be thicker? Ferraban used to be a lot thicker and a lot better. The old Ferraban, the old formula in the day, was probably better than any modern day bands now. Joe <laughs> How long have I been your hero, Joe You're a legend, Joe Hope you're all well. Hope you, hope you and the family are all good, mate. <laughs> Clan Cullen. John, would you ever get into disc golf what's disc golf disc golf d-i-s-c spice golf i've never heard of disc golf somebody prevail on that paul monford in an ideal world it's getting out time for taking a few roosters <laughs> dirty cash what's the best tube or square elastics none of them get on flat bands get on flat bands clan cullen says it's like frisbee Never heard of it, buddy. I'll, I'll check it up after this. Never heard of disc golf in my life. Never heard of that. Never heard of that one. Do they have any caddies at Harrogate Game Fair? They have caddies at uh, every game fair. Um, just depends what you want, really. There's catapults at everyone. What you tend to get at the game fairs, though, is a lot of the traditional gypsy type and... Um, you know, Milbro type little brass ones and cast ones. You don't really tend to get um, the catapults that are in at the moment. Nothing against the old brass and the gypsy type catapults. You know, they've got their place in the in the catapult world. It's just a lot of today's stuff is high end. You know, flat band shooters. So where we're at now, on eighty, we're on forty minutes. We've had probably twenty countries tuning already. We've had hundreds of questions. We're going to carry on for a bit. Or should we call it a day? What do you reckon? What time are we on? I'm just going to scroll down so bear with me. 25 to 9. 
No problem, Reece Stevenson. Alfie Gaskin, what do you think of the GZK black? Don't like the black, buddy. I just don't like the way it handles. I like the green. I shoot the green band. It's a good band, the green. I shoot the green all the time. But uh, I just can't get on with the black. I don't know why. Just Even though it's supposed to be the same band, the same thickness and a different colour, I just can't get on with the black mush. Can't, can't get on with it. Have you ever done rat shooting, John? Uh, Sam Meester says. Uh, put it this way. I'm a fisherman. Spend many nights in the bivvy and we get pestered by rats and I've always got a catapult on me. I wouldn't like to guess how many rats I've shot over the last five, ten years while I've been fishing. But put it this way, it's probably enough to fill a few black bags. Rats are, uh, they always get it. Always. Because when you sat in your bivvy at night, and then you can see them coming around your bait bucket. So they're only like two or three metres away. You can almost be lying there. Ding! Plus the fishery owners let me shoot them as well because it's, it's a pest off their back. Dirty Cash says, I'm on flat bands, but I want to get some tube or square, but I don't know what ones to get. There is good tubes and squares. The tubes that I like, this is old, old school now. I like the Black Widow tubes, the Bardic ones, the um, the the neutral latex colour as well. The red ones tend to be different, but you need to take that big, massive pouch off that they got and put your own smaller pouch on. They also take about 100 to 200 shots to break in the Barnet Black Widow ones. As for squares, squares have always been slow, but they do. If anybody looks online, you get the Neo squares. I think the 6mm Neo, normally in green. They tend to be a lot more stretchy. The thick black squares, the really old school ones, it's like almost trying to stretch a rope. They, uh, they just, they just don't quite hack it. But the Neo squares, they're, they're good squares, as good as squares go. Anyway, still never perform as good as flat bands, but they're not bad for squares. What do you think is more accurate, GZK Green or Ferraban Gold? And PPM or PPM G Plus? It's as good as the shooter using it, no comment. Best hunting band for your TTF pocket poacher shooting 8 mil steel. Got to go on the old, on the 8, you, you got to go on the GZK Green and your 8 mil steel. You want probably 0.62 or 0.66. So on your small ammo, you're looking around 18 to 12 mil, 20 to 14 mil taper. Make sure you have a nice little pouch. Steve Baker, up, John from Pocklington, York. Sian Cullen says, John, surely you have seen the Chinese boys with the slingshots that have fishing reels attached. Yeah, unfortunately, it's illegal in the country where I'm from. Uh, it does look fun, though, doesn't it? It does. They're shooting snakeheads and carp and everything. They'll eat anything, won't they, them? <laughs> Jance Thompson, how are you doing? But you had any bites yet anyway, mate? How's, how's the session going on the lake? I haven't seen many of your U Natural in TTF. Have you made many? Cosmic Sponge had one of yours and he's fit. He did on you. Uh, it's not that I don't make any. It's like when I make a natural catapult, they that the shape of a natural in a way tends to shoot, tends to suit over the top better. That is quite simply the only reason why I don't. And plus, they're easier to make. I ain't going to like. TTF with a, with a natural, once you start going outwards for the TTF attachment and, and putting grooves in, that's where the catapult can snap in the grain, if you know what I mean. Basically, in the natural, you want the grain going long ways. As soon as you come out TTF, it creates a weak point. That's why I tend not to. Um, but it could definitely be, you know, definitely do them. Egan Thomas Williams, hello. Fork Shooter TB, Todd Brabson from USA. How you doing, buddy? Any plus or minus to powder coating on metal shooters? Yes, I'm going to say yes. One, um, unless you've held one, you wouldn't know. I've got my PPSG, PPMG in camos, cosmic, black, Military green, khaki, uh, spirals, they're all powder coated in paint spot pro shot and then and powder coated over the metal. Now, if you hold the plain metal one as in aluminium, bronze, or brass, and then hold the powder coat one next to it, not only is it a bit warm because you're not directly touching the metal, it also seems more grippy, it's not as slidey. So, yes, they are 
I wouldn't say better, they feel better, they're more grippy. The thing is, if you start fork hitting them or over time, and I mean over a lot of time dropping and scratching, it can chip off. And also the powder coating and the um, that type of stuff, they can't come numbered or signed because you can't engrave into it. So that's why a lot of people, I think, prefer the plain aluminium ones because they all come engraved and that. But for general feel and purpose, the powder coating ones, in my opinion, do feel better. They do feel better. Shooter Roberts off poaching carp tonight with the net to Linagors. Let me know if you want any. <laughs> I know that's a joke. <laughs> Got to take care, buddy. Off on the ferals and rats. You know, I've read that for a minute. I was like, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Hey, everybody knows that's my local lake. That one, protect that with me life. I want that lake. To be fair, you ain't getting in there anyway. It's full of, it's full of Rottweilers. And no, it's full of Alsatians. It's got fencing all around. And if you can get through them, then the owners will give you a base and you ain't getting in there. <laughs> it's one of the safest lakes around. <laughs> Bobby Griffin, hi, John. Buying one of your catties tomorrow. Thank you very much. Vehicle vendor. Hi, John. What do you think of Precise? I used to shoot Precise a lot. Precise is a weird one. I go back many, many years ago. I know I say this in a lot, but a lot of people don't know a lot of the old school stuff. Is what's about now anyway, most of it. With the old Theraband um, stuff, there was black latex that come out from Simple Shot, and there was Precise. And a lot of people used to shoot Precise. Precise went, it sort of disappeared for one, two, three years. Once GZK started coming in, then the Precise and everything come back in. You know, we've, we've, we've already done that circle, now it's all back again. We'll change again within a few years, <laughs> as it does. Colin Olufsen from Netherlands. When is the new catapults coming out, Josh Sillett says. You'll be seeing a video from me within the next... What day are we on now? I've got stuff to do tomorrow. I hope Monday. With Tuesday or Wednesday, you'll be seeing a video with a new website, with new stuff on, new designs, new kits and all that. Go fishing in your fish tank. I've been tempted with this lockdown. 15 days now, no fishing. Well, tell a lie. Tell a lie, sorry. I have done a little bit of um, sea fishing local to me because I'm literally half a mile away from the beach. Like, I live right on the coast in North Wales. But as much as I like sea fishing, I really do enjoy it and I like it. It's nothing like my carp fishing. It's just, it's not the same. But at least I've had a bit of a fishing fix. <laughs> so we're going to end this one soon, boys and girls. Hagen Thomas Williams. I am a big fan of your videos and I love shooting catapults. Perfect. <laughs> See, Anna Colin, if you put a hole straight through 8mm clay and it makes a little whistle, pretty cool. Out on a walk, cut your range and accuracy, great fun. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to end this video in a minute. I wanted to touch on something that, oh, I forgot who, who said it, now I have to look back for the comments. Live tutorials. You know, these live streams are going really well, and not only are they going well, they're bringing a lot of people over, and we're helping a lot of people. Don't get me wrong, these videos aren't getting, you know, hundreds of thousands of views. They're not. But for the few thousand views they are getting, we're helping a lot of people out. So, you know, I'd rather it be like this way. And, you know, we're not necessarily mass producing, like, the views. But every video is helping people individually to your specifications. So we're going to do some live tutorials. I'm working on that one. Might do it every two weeks or something. And we might have an hour or even a two hour set live on the catch box and shooting and do it that way. But I think I think that's a very, very good idea, that one. Um, yeah, I like the idea of that. And when people are shooting, we can, I can, you know, integrate and ask where you think you're going wrong in your shooting. And then show you and, you know, yeah, because everybody can, I don't know how to, go, how to say it. Everybody can see stuff and watch stuff. But if somebody's specifically talking to you for your needs and showing you what you need to do um you know i can i can read it better myself like that if you know what i mean i think that's a good and we'll just look for these last few comments yeah it's just stuff about bands and shooting so uh, we're going to end it oh good stretch not much going on for me tonight 
gonna go in go in there now, chill out. Probably have a cup of tea and some chocolate digestives. <laughs> As you do, and um we've got a lot to do tomorrow, a lot to get sorted. So I'm fishing fishing Monday for the day on the, the carp we're only float fishing. And then next weekend I'm away up the lake for a couple of nights in my caravan and I'll probably have a go on the catfish. The catfish tend to shut down this time of year though, and I might have a go. And uh, might have a go for some of them bigger carp because the lake where I'm fishing by me, um, there's about there's quite a few twenty pound carp in there. I haven't actually had a twenty pound carp out of there yet, believe it or not. And I've had in my I've probably had over twenty twenty pound carp from all the other lakes I've fished. I've never had a twenty from this one. It's the one that I'm putting the most time in. But um, there's a lot of stockies and stuff. But the beautiful, the big fully scales, proper dark linears chestnut commons there's, you know there's no mon no real monsters you get a 30 in that but no real monster monsters but um that's where i want to put my time in over winter and spring so you know don't forget to like comment subscribe and that and uh, i'll share with you there but yeah um i've made a note on the app for them live tutorials uh i think that could be good there's nowhere else where you can tune in live and have somebody tell you how to improve your shooting live there and then is that I think it could be good for the catapult world. Now I've said it, you know what will happen, don't you? There'll be 20 other YouTube channels doing live tutorials next week. You know it. <laughs> Peace out, people. And, um, yeah, that live tutorial will happen. I'll make it. I'll, uh, yeah, take it easy. Subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you all in the next show. Have a good one.